Hello, dear friends, welcome to the Information Cinema channel. Join me to see what kind of animals snakes are, to get more information about them, and to know more about snake venom and the treatment of snake venom. A snake is a reptilian, carnivorous, elongated, long, and legless animal. Usually, snakes are confused with legless lizards. Among the differences between snakes and legless lizards are, snakes do not have eyelids and a hole for the outer ear, their abdominal scales are wide, and their tongue they have forks and unlike lizards, usually, they have an elongated body and a tail have short snakes are animals, cold-blooded, from the aquatic and vertebrate groups. The snake's body is covered with overlapping scales. Snakes belong to the order of reptiles, the suborder of docmanans, the order of scales of lizards, the superorder of reptiles, the order of scales, the suborder of serpents. Most snake species have skulls that have several more joints than their lizard ancestors. This skull allows them to swallow prey much larger than their heads with the help of highly movable jaws. The internal organs of snakes are arranged one after the other instead of being on both sides of the body, like kidneys, in order to adapt more to their long and elongated bodies, and most of them have only one lung that works. Some species of snakes still have a distinct pelvis, and a pair of genetically preserved claw-like organs can be seen on either side of their sphincter. Snakes live on all continents except Antarctica, some large land masses such as Ireland and New Zealand, and many small islands in the Atlantic Ocean and the center of the Pacific Ocean of course, sailors are scattered throughout the Indian and Pacific Oceans. So far, nearly 20 genera of snakes, which include 500 genera and nearly 3,400 species, have been identified. The length of the snakes has been widened from 10 cm for the pen snake to 6.95 m for the reticulated python. A fossil of a snake called Titanoboa has been found, which was 13 m long. Probably, the generation of snakes goes back either to water lizards or to underground lizards in the Jurassic period with the last fossil corresponding to 143 to 167 million years ago. The diversity of today's snakes seems to be related to the Paleocene period, 66 to 56 million years ago. The oldest known description of a snake is from the Brooklyn Papyrus. Most of the snakes do not have poison, the ones that are poisonous use it primarily to hunt and kill their prey rather than for personal defense. Some venomous snakes can cause severe injury to humans and even death. Non-venomous snakes can eat their prey alive or kill it first by wrapping around the prey and squeezing it, then eat it. To watch all kinds of snakes in some countries, there are special places called marsra. Snake venom is a very dangerous and poisonous liquid, usually yellow, that is stored in special salivary glands in the mouth of poisonous snakes. There are hundreds of species of venomous snakes in the world that rely on their venom to weaken and paralyze their prey. Venom is made from a combination of proteins, enzymes, and other molecular substances. These poisonous and toxic compounds cause cell destruction, disruption of nerve signals, or both. Snakes use their venom very carefully which is injected into their bodies to incapacitate their prey or defend themselves against predators. Snake venom can cause paralysis, internal bleeding, and even death by destroying and disintegrating living cells and tissues of the victim's body. In order for snake venom to work, it must be injected into certain tissues or enter the bloodstream. While snake venom is highly toxic and deadly, researchers use its compounds to produce drugs to treat human diseases. What is poison? Snake venom is a liquid secretion produced by the special salivary glands of poisonous snakes. Snakes use this venom to incapacitate their prey and aid in the digestion process. The main composition of snake venom consists of protein. Also, this toxic substance contains enzymes that accelerate chemical reactions that in turn break chemical bonds between large molecules. These enzymes are effective in digesting carbohydrates, proteins, phospholipids, and nucleotides of the prey body. Toxic enzymes are also very powerful in lowering blood pressure, destroying red blood cells, and preventing muscle control. Another component of snake venom is polypeptide venom. Polypeptides are chains of amino acids that consist of 50 or fewer amino acids. Polypeptides disrupt the functioning of cells, which leads to cell death. Some of the toxin compounds found in venom are found in all venomous snakes, while other compounds are only found in the venom of certain snakes. 3. Main types of venom in snakes, 
cytotoxins, neurotoxins, and hemotoxins. Although snake venom is made of a complex combination of toxins, enzymes, and non-toxic compounds, snake venom can generally be classified into three groups, cytotoxins, neurotoxins, and hemotoxins. Other types of snake toxins affect certain types of cells, such as cardiotoxin, myotoxin, and nephrotoxin. Cytotoxins Cytotoxins are toxic substances that destroy body cells. These toxic compounds cause the death of all or part of the cells of a tissue or organ, a process called tissue death or necrosis. Some tissues may undergo blue necrosis as a result of the venom, in which the tissues become completely or partially liquefied. In this way, cytotoxins have actually started the process of digestion and decomposition. Even before the snake swallows the prey, cytotoxins usually affect specific types of cells. Cardiotoxins are actually cytotoxins that damage heart cells. Myotoxins also target and destroy muscle tissue cells. Nephrotoxins also break down kidney cells. Many types of venomous snakes have a combination of cytotoxins in their venom, and some may also produce neurotoxins or hemotoxins. By damaging the cell membrane, cytotoxins cause the destruction of cells and accelerate the process of deterioration and death of cells. Some other cytotoxins can also cause programmed cell death, which is called apoptosis. Most of the visible tissue damage caused by cytotoxins is at the site of the bite. Neighbor sleeps the snake neurotoxins Neurotoxins are chemical compounds that are toxic to the nervous system and cause severe damage to the victim's body by disrupting the chemical signals, neurotransmitters, that are exchanged between neurons. These toxic compounds can reduce the production of neurotransmitters or disable the receiving centers of these important components of the nervous system. Some other neurotoxins exert their effect on the victim's nervous system by closing calcium and potassium channels with a voltage gate. These channels are vital for the transmission of signals between nerve cells, neurons. Neurotoxins cause muscle paralysis, which can lead to difficulty breathing and eventually death. Snakes of the Elipidae family in particular produce neurotoxin venom. These snakes have small, very sharp fangs and include cobras, mambas, sea snakes, vipers, and coral snakes. Examples of snake neurotoxins include calcisptin, this neurotoxin disrupts the transmission of nerve messages by closing voltage-gated calcium channels. The black mamba uses this type of venom. Cobra toxin, this poisonous compound is produced by cobra snakes and blocks nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, which leads to paralysis of the victim's body. Calcicludina, like calcisptin, this neurotoxin also blocks voltage-gated calcium channels and disrupts the transmission of nerve messages. This type of venom is found in the eastern green mamba. Fasciculini, fasciculini this neurotoxin is also found in the venom of the eastern green mamba, which causes the acetylcholinesterase enzyme to stop working, which results in lack of control over muscle movements, convulsions, and the inability to breathe. Caliotoxin, this lethal compound is produced by blue coral snakes and targets sodium channels. In this way, Kaleotoxin prevents the closing of these channels and causes paralysis of the whole body. Hemotoxins Hemotoxins are blood poisons that have cytotoxic effects, cell immune response, and disrupt normal blood coagulation. These compounds cause red blood cells to open. Suddenly, dysfunction of blood coagulation factors, or tissue death and damage to internal organs. Destruction of red blood cells, inability of blood to coagulate naturally will cause severe internal bleeding. The accumulation and increase in the number of destroyed red blood cells can affect the normal function of the kidney. While some hemotoxins prevent blood coagulation, others cause blood platelets or other blood compounds to stick together. As a result, blood clots form that block blood vessels and lead to heart failure as a result of a heart attack. Snakes of the Viperidae family, including vipers and pit vipers, produce this type of toxins. How to transfer poison and its injection system Most poisonous snakes use their fangs to inject poison into the victim's body. Fangs are very efficient in injecting venom because they pierce the victim's body tissue and cause the toxic compound to enter the wound. Some snakes can throw venom at threats as a defense mechanism. The venom injection system consists of four major parts, venom glands, muscles, lymphatic tubes, and fangs. Venom glands these specialized glands are located in the head of the snake and are responsible for the production and storage of venom. Muscles, the muscles of the snake's head, 
which are located near the venom glands, help a lot in sucking and releasing venom from these glands. Lymphatic ducts, these ducts provide a route for the transfer of venom from the venom-producing glands to the fangs. Fangs, fangs are actually teeth with a special function and structure, which make it possible to inject poison into the victim's body with their hollow structure. Snakes of the Viperidae family have a highly advanced venom injection system. Venom is regularly produced and stored in venom glands. Before the vipers bite their victim, they remove their fangs from the sheath. After a bite, the muscles around the venom glands move some of this lethal compound into the closed canine canal. The amount of venom injected is completely within the snake's control and depends on the size of the victim or prey. Usually, vipers release their prey after injecting venom. The snake waits for the poison to take effect and paralyze him, and then he swallows it. Snakes of the family Elipidae, such as cobras, mambas, and rattlesnakes, have a similar venom delivery and injection system to vipers. But unlike vipers, these species of snakes do not have movable fangs. Parsley snake is an exception among this group of snakes. Many of these snakes have small and short teeth that are fixed and always remain sharp. After biting the victim, these snakes usually hold the victim and perform a movement similar to chewing on the wound to make sure that a sufficient amount of venom enters the body. Venomous snakes of the Colibridae family have an open canal in each fang. That serves as a passageway for venom. These venomous snakes usually have fixed posterior fangs and chew the wound when biting the victim. The venom of these snakes usually has less effect on the human body than other types of poisonous snakes, however, the venom of a small number of snakes in this family will also be fatal. Will snake venom be effective on the snakes themselves? Since some snakes use their venom to kill their prey, why don't snakes get into trouble after eating a prey whose body has been poisoned by snake venom? Venomous snakes are immune to venom used to kill prey because most of snake venom is made up of protein. Protein-based toxins must be injected into or absorbed into tissue or the bloodstream in order to have a lethal effect. Swallowing and eating poison does not cause any harm to the body because the toxin, which is based on protein, is broken down into small components by stomach acids and digestive enzymes. This causes the killing effect of protein toxins to disappear and turns them into some harmless amino acid. However, these toxins can be fatal if they enter the bloodstream. In the body of poisonous snakes, there are many mechanisms and capabilities that make them safe from their own poison or make them less vulnerable to their own poison. The venom-producing glands in the snake's body are organized and placed in such a way that it prevents the venom from entering the snake's body and actually leaking to other parts of its body. Also, poisonous snakes have antibodies and antivenom compounds that do not cause any problems if they get their own poison or are bitten by another poisonous snake. Researchers have also found that cobras have made changes in the acetylcholine receptors in their muscles that prevent the neurotoxins of their venom from sticking to these receptors. Without these altered receptors, the snake's neurotoxin could bind to the muscle receptors of the snake's own body and cause paralysis and death for the snake. Therefore, cobras are immune to the venom of other cobras only because of the changes they have made in the structure of their acetylcholine receptors. Therefore, it can be said that while poisonous snakes are not vulnerable to their own venom, they are not so safe against the venom of other snakes. Snake Dream Interpretation Snake Venom and Pharmaceuticals In addition to making antidote, studying snake venoms and their biological functions is very vital and effective to discover new ways to fight diseases. Some of these diseases include heart attack, Alzheimer's, cancer and heart diseases. Because the toxins in the venom target specific cells, researchers are investigating these toxins to develop new drugs that can target specific cells. Also, the investigation of these toxic compounds has led to the production of very strong painkillers and very effective blood thinners. Researchers have used the anticoagulant properties of hemotoxins in the production of drugs to treat high blood pressure, blood diseases, and heart attacks. Neurotoxins have also been used to treat brain diseases, including stroke. The first drug based on venom and approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration was Captopril, which is derived from Brazilian viper venom and is used in the treatment of high blood pressure. Other drugs derived from the venom of snakes include eptifibotide from rattlesnake venom and tyrofibin from African saw scale viper venom, which are used to treat heart attack and chest pain. Interesting and less heard facts about King Cobra, the most dangerous poisonous snake in the world.
Get to know 10 species of the most poisonous and dangerous spiders in the world I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Thank you for your support, dear friends.